Over two years ago, yeah, time flies really fast, I put out a series of polls asking people on what their favorite job of each role is and what their thoughts were. And so here I come again to give my thoughts on each job in Endwalker and talk about the results. Maybe I can even compare the results from then to now, how people's opinions have shifted with the Endwalker changes, or lack thereof in some cases. So let's just get right into it. First up we have the melee jobs, and this one is actually super surprising. I've seen some mixed attitudes from the high-end player base with the job being this or that. It's harder than ever, by the way. But the comments on this poll have so much love for Monk. I didn't count because I'm not that insane, but a good half of the comments are praising Monk. And yet it is the least voted for. Granted, this is a poll of your favorite job, so that doesn't mean Monk is disliked. I can do a set of polls for that after this video and probably will entirely because of Monk. But wow is this an extreme example of people saying one thing, but the results show another. Silent majority or such. Personally, I really like New Monk. It's still not a job I'll typically choose to play on purpose. In that way, it probably is actually my least favorite melee job, but not because I actively dislike it, the job is bad, or such. It's just really hard and complex. Probably the Black Mage of melee at this point, though maybe not as extreme as Black Mage. Everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, so some people finding Monk easy, yeah, whatever. I am not one of those people, and the general play base seems to also find it difficult. Maybe that's why it got so few votes? The people who revel in the difficulty love it, while most people are against the difficulty? I don't know. Sample size is a hell of a drug, and only a fraction of a percent of voters commented. Either way, I think Monk is harder, but in a good way. The difficulty of Monk before Endwalker always felt like it was because of all the jank. Now it's a fun difficulty. I like the Beast Chakra, it feels very visceral. Normal Chakra feels like a tacked on afterthought with how great it is. That's just a comparison thing. It's been the mechanic of the job for years and has been hit or miss with many. But yeah, I like it, but still my least favorite. Vocally people love it, vote wise, wow, the bottom. Riddle of Wind is still weird though. Next we have Ninja and Samurai, about equal in votes. Ninja on the lower end. Endwalker revealed the warrior of melee to be ninjas. If there is even some small issue, they will whine about it so loud. And that's what the Raiju stuff was initially. Oh no, Raijus lock us in place? Cool, welcome to Dragoon. I've been saying it since A Realm Reborn, but your issues with animation locks is a skill issue, not a problem with the job. Otherwise, it still remains the fastest and most frenetic job in the game. That opener is just... so much to handle. It takes a bit of practice, but I do find it fun. I'd still put it about here in my melee rankings. I enjoy the other melee jobs more, but I can't say I'm against the changes Endwalker made. I like Raiju. Horaijin is like the best addition they could have made with how many tanks are bad and don't do a countdown before pulling a boss in Trials and Raids. At most, Phantom Kamaitachi is a weird skill. Like, I get it, it exists, but it just feels like a weird one, even if it's pretty strong. I like the job, but it still requires a level of practice that I don't tend to keep up on. If I did, I bet it would at least be middle of the pack for me. Fun fact, I was a better ninja than I was a dragoon in Heavensward. Otherwise, not much to say beyond that. Unlike Monk, we didn't see an entire rework on ninja. Shadowbringers did more to it. Samurai, meanwhile, Kaiten was bad and should stay gone. Let the animation come back for next expansion, but the skill needs a different effect or be better tied to how the job plays. Kaiten has been pointless since the Hagakure change. Hagakure is still good and useful in a new way, but it isn't integral to the rotation like it used to be. It being a rotational skill that gave a huge amount of Kenki made Kenki management an actual thing, and it made the fact that when you used Kaiten, you were really committing. Every Hikinbana, and the much rarer Midares. For those who don't know or remember, Hagakure used to give you 60 Kenki for the 3 Sen. That was more powerful than a Midare when spent on Shinten, and is more Kenki than Iki Shoten. Now... Shinten is all you do, and it feels no different to when sometimes it was Kaiten, because the Kenki economy is barely different. At least now, Gyoten and Yaten are actually equal in power to Shinten. That makes them, like, way more usable for rotational BS 
and less of a damage loss to use them for utility. And they're just fun to use. Samurai is a tight, fun experience. It's smooth, hits hard, and is just great. And yet still is my middling choice. Though I will say, turning Tenka Goken into a circle was also dumb, as is Fuko. Like, I liked the dance of having both cones and circles. Come on guys, keep AoE interesting. Crossing into the 20% range, we have my forever main, Dragoon. Unless the 7.0 update ruins the job, I will always be Dragoon. There has never been a Dragoon I hated. Every version I have loved and played endlessly, which is why I trust the devs to make the job update good. Dragoon devs are just great. But I mean, I can't really say much beyond just, this is perfection. Endwalker is perfection for a Dragoon. I have zero complaints, love all it does, still love dealing with weaving economy, but there's nowhere else to go. They can't do anything more for a Dragoon. Perfection is a dead end. They have no choice but to remake the job. And if it's anything like Reaper, yeah, good. Barely talking about my main, but I mean, it's my main. I've been talking about this job endlessly, and when something is perfect, you have less to say. It's just everything I want in a job, right here. Reaper, meanwhile, flavor of the month for sure. I do love the job. I'm so glad I have a second maiming job, but no way this amount of votes tracks into next expansion. That or people are just that edgy. It's super flashy, has really fun spots of speed while keeping a small bit of weave economy Dragoon has. It feels like a maiming job while having a very unique identity. It's also just a stupid job in both the worst and best ways. How absolutely stupid do we have to be to make a pact with a void scent, but also in gameplay, like dungeons. Like, you whirl of death to put your debuff on everything, throw out all your gauge to absolutely eviscerate the trash packs, and then suddenly you're back to max gauge. Like, there is no job in this game with a better AoE experience. So strong, builds its resources back up instantly, and like, the actual rotation? I love the needing to duck in and out for AoE. Circles and cones is way better than just boring circles. I very much am looking to what Reaper does in next expansion. How will they expand it? Raiding with the job for a tier was very fun, but of course I have to return to my baby Dragoon. Reaper though, definitely ticks all the right boxes while being unique. Though the low level experience can be a bit non-existent, even at 70 for the job can feel bare bones. I did try to join an Ultima Ultimate clear party on Reaper for the fun and attempt at loot, but then some troll joined and died like every pool. Wiped us many times. But the point is, I was able to do so because you have like, no buttons at 70. Otherwise, yeah, look at Reaper's changes in the media tour first. Definitely the one to look at, even more than Dragoon. Plus, full reworks need more time to analyze. Reaper will be a quicker look. So how do these results compare to the Shadowbringers melee results? Now, that's a bit different. Dragoon's still pretty popular, but Samurai is far above the competition. Are people really that angry about Kaiten? A bad skill that didn't need to exist? Was the pull of Reaper that strong? Most interestingly, though, is Monk. It has the exact same percentage of the vote. Despite Reaper theoretically making all percentages lower since we're split among five jobs, Monk didn't lose any ground. This consistency is pretty funny, personally. But seriously though, why such a huge drop for Samurai? Other than the removal of cones, it's just a better job all around. Just seriously people, Kaiten was one skill and it actively was equally replaced by nearly the same number of Shintens. Do that for the other jobs, and you just lose APM outright. You can't fill it in with another skill just as easily. Anyway, let's move on to the range jobs. I'm just gonna skip to the comparing bit, because wow, there has been absolutely no change. And yes, this is two different polls. The consistency for Monk was funny. This? This is hilarious. It's not like the jobs are the same. There's been a number of changes, especially to Bard. Bard has changed the most with their songs being 45 seconds each. Their powers, Mage's Ballad is now the worst for single target. Bloodletter has stacks now. 
Like, that change sounded like a god's gift on Earth with how much people were freaking out about blood lettuce stacks. I guess it's how they change dots and repertoire that people haven't been moved on it, or an equal amount of people left the job as moved to the job. Personally, I do like this a bit more in concept, but Bart has always been one of those jobs that I just... can't. I try hard to play it sometimes, but usually I just... end up leaving it. The comments on the poll also seem like you either love the job, or you hate it. If I do that least favorite video, I think Bard is going to very much run away with the results. I don't know. Opinions seem to be stuck with Bard. This might be up on the chopping block soon for a full rework. If not in 7.0, expect them to quickly announce an 8.0 rework for it. Which, oof, another two years away. Next we have Dancer, which basically is the same. Starfall Dance and Fan Dance 4 are fine, fun even, but I don't feel like it is a Dragoon situation. That the job was already perfect and then just furthering perfection. It's just eh. I'm eh on Dancer at this point. The job is good and all, but I just don't have a huge want to play it. The improv changes are nice though. Machinist is by far the range job I like the most. It feels better than ever. More Edgar love is just great. We have a shotgun, though the part that feels the most of a huge change is them smoothing over how hypercharge feels. It's still ping unfriendly, but this is probably as friendly as it will ever get. It's just the nature of how internet works. Having a set of chargers though, so much nicer. Oh, and they brought back Dismantle? The best skill in the game where you throw a goddamn wrench at the enemy? But I don't know, range just doesn't seem like my role. If I had to just never play a single role again, it'd probably be ranged. I do enjoy Malcolmore more than ever. I love the Edgar representation, but you can tell how little I have to say about it, right? This section is so short, and it's not just because there's only three jobs. Maybe FanFest will show us something new and cool. Next up we have the Mages, and this one is a bit surprising to me. Summoner was never the most popular job. People didn't like how it played, but it had its hardcore fans. I'm sure New Summoner would turn off a lot of those hardcore fans, but bring in so many, many new fans, including myself. I love New Summoner. It just feels so fun to play. It's easy, yeah. It's also strong. But I just feel it's fun. Just pure and simple fun. Yeah, there's not a lot to optimize, but big booms and explosions, and the eggy phase is just great. Being able to choose the order based on what the fight needs is very nice, and it got me my solo Heaven on High clear. I don't know, it's super simple, but simply fun. Which you can never say of Black Mage, which despite it being such a divisive job, still ends up being a favorite for so, so many people. And the comments feel mostly biased toward Black Mage, it's impossibly high skill floor and ceiling draws in so many. People who revel in the high skill environment. People who admit they suck at the job. And yet both groups loving the job. Black Mage is very much not a job I play. I would need to very much just sit down and force myself to play it for a few weeks to truly master the job. Not even master. Sure, I do pretty decently with it, not amazing. I show it off pretty okay in my job guides, I think. But that's only a fraction of the effort I need to truly say I learned the job. And I just don't wanna. I wanna play the other two instead. I do find Paradox Mage forever funny, even if the rotation looks like a complete and evil beast not meant for this world. And the AoE changes very much make dungeons way more tolerable to me. But tolerable at best. I just can't with Black Mage. Red Mage, meanwhile, remains ever popular. Fancy and full of flair, the rotation remains fun as always. Short cast to long cast is just satisfying to do over and over. Having a raise on demand is just eternally useful in so many contexts. Always my choice for zones like Eureka and Bogia. It's just so smooth. Magic Barrier is huge for the continued support niche. But their AoE is just bad. I do not like how the AoE is. I actually still miss scatter spam. But I guess technically this is better? I don't know. And the other big change was just adding another skill to your finisher? Can't wait for 7.0 when we'll get another skill after resolution. Looking forward to 10.0 when your rotation is to get your finisher, then the entire next 10 minutes of fight is your melee combo over and over. 
Like, I don't know what their plans are. The job is fun, still gonna be my open world mage, my big field content job. It's still very fun, and the popularity is pretty obvious. Though if we compare the polls, it has dropped a bit. The numbers are a bit closer together, but the order remains the same. Summoner at the bottom and Raid Mage on top. So while Summoner remains on bottom, it does feel like the rework might have had a benefit on the player base. Though, still, I'm just one friendless nobody with a very small sample sized poll. If I had to guess, going into next expansion, there is either going to be a major shift in these rankings, or they're going to be even more even than ever. I see no other options. A complete mix-up, maybe because of a new job, or it just becoming completely even. In their own way, there's some evenness on the healers. Scholar and Astrologian are about equally disliked, which I kinda agree on. I've made my dislike of Scholar very known. I do not like Scholar. It is a very strong job, but I don't like it. Endwalker has solved a bit more of the fairy issues, but not entirely. And then there's Expedient, the worst button in the game. This button just sucks. There's a, so many mechanics that put you near a wall. A scholar just deciding to press sprint for you as you approach a wall? Well, enjoy that wall. So many times in P12S, during the limit cut, I've gotten close to the wall and then... BAM! Expedient! And given you need to be so very much against the wall, it's so easy to end up running into it since there's so little room for error. Scala is still strong, it will always be strong, but I'm just... No. Stop. Just stop. Astrologian as the other disliked healer? Yeah, agreed. I miss Stormblood Astrologian. It was so much more fun. The RNG actually was more fun, and there were no seals. The seal system and Astrodyne are just no. I'm super glad this is another job that 7.0 is going to massively rework. Just, ugh, get rid of these. Make cards fun again. Macrocosmos, though? That is a super cool skill. I really like it. A smart astrologian can use this thing to stupid effect. It can sometimes require a bit of work, but when you get it to work, it's just so good to see the heal from it come out. But everything else about the job? All the work just for card play? Not worth it for Macrocosmos. Oh, and Earthly Galaxy is still a thing. The worst part about this one, though, is that the comments seem to show a good amount of love to all four. So these two being lower, sure it agrees with me, but the comments show a far more even split. But the poll itself? There's a clear divide. White Mage is always the bare bones, but strong healer. The buff to Asylum size is a bit ridiculous, and Holy 3 is a dumb name that skipped Holy 2. The effect I'd say is probably worse, maybe? I'm still not sure on how I feel on the visual effect. The power of it remains forever amazing. That stun effect is infinitely useful. Wall-to-wall -wall pulls, several seconds of the enemies not even able to do damage. Just the best healer AoE. Aqua Veil is pretty cool though, I like it. Simple, but really nice to have. 15% on one target only? Sure, but there's a lot of ways to use that. On the one player taking more damage than the rest, tank busters, or other things. I think the Omega Protocol shows it off best. But then there's the heal bush. This bush is so very good for so many different mechanics. What I'm not too keen on is the whining from White Mages with the Blood Lily. Oh no, we have to lose DPS when we heal. How awful. If you have to lose DPS and keep people alive, well do it then. Throwing out lilies at random just to waste them when possible for more blood lilies? Why? It makes sense only because other healers can do this. But like, I'm sure these people also whine about how the game is becoming too homogenized. If that's so bad, why are you asking for it then? Why is this now similar to the other healers instead of something you try to ration? Whatever. Point is, people like White Mage. I like White Mage. Holy is great, also heal bush. And then there's Sage. How much of this is due to flavor of the month and being new? How much is it from being a far easier to play scholar? How much will people love it come 7.0? For me, it's my new favorite healer. Yeah, we don't have Holy, 
but once you get used to Sage, you really get a powerful and fun healer job. I constantly think back to my learning Sage, how many issues I had in the first bunch of dungeon runs. How many issues were because of bad tanks? Was it because of my unfamiliarity with the job? What with it being new and all? I remember once I got to Holos, everything clicked. Holos is a better version of Expedient and just made the job finally click for me. Though again, could just be I got unlucky with tanks. One of them actually intentionally got themselves killed. Good stuff, right? That shit doesn't make learning a brand new healer any easier. But despite the issues, despite everything that went wrong, this is my go-to. Where White Mage is constantly throwing lilies away just to get their blood lily, Sage is throwing away Adasgall to continue to do anything. If I don't just constantly waste resources in dungeon runs, I usually bottom out on MP. This really is just everything I would want out of an attempted fixed scholar. Some criticize the similarities, but it's still a bit different on its own, like not having expedient. But like, yeah, this is the shield healer for me. We'll see how 7.0 treats it, but it very much is the healer for me. I love it. We're two for two for the new jobs of Endwalker being made for me. But how does this compare to Shadowbringers? Oof. That's a huge drop for Astrologian. From just below White Mage to barely above Scholar. And Scholar even dropped only a tiny bit, despite Sage being the shield healer space with Scholar. You'd expect a bigger drop. Both polls even had about the same number of votes. Scholar players are ride or die, I guess. Most interestingly though, is that with the proper split from Astrologian being both Regen and Shield Healer, the votes are now 50-50. 50% of the vote was for the Regen Healers of White Mage and Astro. 50% for Shield Healers. That's such a perfect split. Like, I don't have exact numbers, but wow. Finally, let's move on to the tanks, and... Whew. Wow, that is a... That's kind of split almost perfectly. Little bit of extra love for Dark Knight, and maybe some people put off by the Paladin changes, but like, wow, how is it this even? Let's start with the comparing to Shadowbringers again, because that chart? Paladin has almost maintained itself, but Warrior has taken votes from all the other tanks. And like, it's obvious why, right? Raw Intuition and Blood Wedding. That's it, right? Job got some fun tools with Endwalker besides that, but that's it. Nothing else matters. Most players only do casual tier content, which mostly will be dungeons, and Warrior basically ruins those. Every wall-to-wall -wall pool, every boss, pop raw intuition or blood wedding, and you just win. That's it, you win until it falls off. If anything, the surprise is that this wasn't more like 40% for Warrior, or higher. Like, my content is focused more on low-end players. I'd expect most players watching my awful content would be more keen on such a powerful tank. And even high-end players just liking Warrior now for being able to sleep through dungeons. And then the fact you can use Nation Flash? That's what I do. If I'm tanking a dungeon, I'm probably going on Warrior. Sure, you need all your other tools too, but Blood Wedding in the right hands just solves so many situations. Throwing home gang being as broken as it is and just... Yeah, warrior. How is this not higher voted? Maybe because they ruined overpower. The cone was better, you peasants. Paladin is probably the white mage of tanks right now. Basic, simple, but defensively strong. Bulwark was a nice return, funnily enough. Divine Veil is no longer just the worst to use. The rotation is pretty fun at the moment, but I do wonder what kind of rework it will get in 7.0. But like... Come on, guys. Can we just get rid of Clemency? Yeah, yeah, I can massively save a run when it is needed. But I am so sick of seeing Paladins assuming death is here when they go below 75% health. Oh, you're low on MP? Better Clemency. I'm low on MP because I'm on Sage and there's literally no healing to do. Just stop it, people. Just stop. That's my main problem. It can be a great tool, but I don't trust anyone with it. You're actively not being helpful, especially to sages who, as I said, run out of MP when they don't heal, which they can often do because there was no healing to do and they're forgetting they need to intentionally heal stupidly just to maintain their MP. It's an ugly cycle. Up to Gunbreaker, this still feels like the most DPS of the tanks to me. Yeah, sure, Dark Knight probably has to put in the most work, but Gunbreaker continues to feel so much more DPS-like. And I enjoy it still. 
Still very much a fun job for me. And then we get Heart of Corundum. Heart of Corundum is Scala's excogitation, but on a 25 second cooldown. It might not be as overly broken for trash pulls as Blood Wedding is, but it's still great there. Then in all other situations, it's an instant fix. Drop below 50% HP, and now you're just saved. Also, Double Down is just cool, and having three charges is some real good quality of life. The big thing for people, I'm sure, would be the gnashing combo and continuation, though. I'm indifferent to the change, really. I never found it being three buttons to be a bad thing. I can't say it's good they put it to one button, but I can't say it's bad either. It's just there to me. Finally, we have Dark Knight. I'm surprised it's top dog still. Edgy people again? I hear that, like, Dark Knight is apparently no longer top DPS for having such a tough time otherwise, but I'm glad they moved to having Blood Weapon on a charge system. Pairing Abyssal Drain and Carven Spit, still a fine change to me, though I do miss the amount of healing you could get out of it. Especially since Oblation isn't the same level of ridiculous as the other things the other jobs got. Like, yeah, we already had the Blackest Knight and they've made that better to use, but that's still weaker than what every other job just got. I don't play Dark Knight enough anymore to say whether it truly is lacking, especially in high-end, but it just... yeah, I don't know. We needed something more for all the changes we got. Basically guaranteed to be the tank I play the least as a result. Warrior is broken for casual content. Paladin is simple and fun. Gunbreaker is basically a DPS and strong. Dark Knight doesn't tick any boxes for me anymore. Fell really far from what used to be my tryhard tank. But then I did one more poll. We're coming up to FanFest at the end of the month, which means we'll be getting either a reveal or a hint to a reveal of one of the new jobs. We'll probably only see female Hrothgar, but still. Anyway, I asked about four specific jobs I've seen commonly asked for. Some are things I'd more expect as limited jobs, but they could always make them normal jobs. Or maybe get us our second limited job. But four jobs and an other option for people to give their own ideas in the comments. We got Puppeteer, Rune, Magic, Mystic, Whatever Knight, Slash Spellblade, Beastmaster, and Geomancer. These are the results. Those who understood the assignment really wanted to see Spellblade. Many others somehow think it's Red Mage and Paladin? Not at all? Spellblade is the job that applies elements to weaponry. They don't cast spells at the enemy, they basically apply the magic to their weapon as a coating. As a possible way to make it gameplay-wise, think of it like New Summoner, or Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII's combat with the three different builds, as bad as that game is. You would apply the element to your weapon with probably different effects. Fire is slow but strong, wind is much faster, earth is a more grounded phase, or such. This would also be the melee-based mage people have been asking for. Rather than trying to build resources for a combo, you're spending it while it automatically recharges or some other mechanic. There's a lot of options of what they could do, and none of them are red mage. I don't get it, and why people can't see the completely different job as completely different. This is probably the pick I'd go for, personally. Puppeteer, I've never had experience with, but I'd seen it asked for a lot. I think it's similar to Blue Mage and Beastmaster, and as we just discussed, things being similar sounding doesn't mean they are. Anyway, Puppeteer, the closest experience I have would be Atlantica Online. Puppeteer in that game had a chainsaw, so I'm all for that job. Beastmaster though? Yeah. You go on a Pokemon journey to tame all the monsters and have Pokemon battles or something. I don't really know how they'd do this one without being a limited job. I guess you could also do this like Summoner? A set of different pets who all do their own things quick before leaving? Maybe. But I'm not a dev, so that's not my job. Geomancer, meanwhile, is already in the game! It's Astrologian, but for the ground. We've literally seen one in-game. We're not going to see it at FanFest because it will be a healer, and we just got one of those. I mostly added it to the poll because people endlessly ask for it. And just look at how many votes it got. Nearly a fourth of the votes despite it not happening. So Geomancer and a lot of the comments for Other are looking far beyond this fanfest circuit. Like seeing hammer-based jobs people want to see. We just got a melee, so we're not getting another melee, unless it's like Spellblade. Also Judge, I basically made my Reaper into Judge. 
but I do see a lot of people asking for a Blitzball based job, and it would make sense for a ranged job. We're probably getting a 4th range and 4th mage for 7.0, so Blitzer would easily fit in. Good amount of pirate or Corsair based asks. Would need to be more of a musket kind of job. We can't do pistols without it being like dual pistols. Curved swords would be a good partner for ninja, but that's a melee then. A few asked for Chocobo Knight, which again, tank, not getting one of those probably, but it could be a thing for future. Couple of people saying Time Mage, forgetting that Astrologian was originally Time Mage. Maybe with all the Time Mage based stuff removed, they'll have made room for it, but I think this is our Time Mage, now and always. Gambler was a common ask. I don't know how this would work since, I mean again, Astrologian. People whined so damn much that Astrologian didn't have perfect DPS up RNG on cards to the point that they ruined the job just to make it always consistent DPS buffs. Gambling would just have to be themed at best. Any RNG stuff, people would whine and moan no matter how small the difference is. But my purse! Yawn. A lot of people on the Necromancer kick. We got it, it's called Reaper. And that's probably as close as we can get with there being a Chinese version, or so I hear. And then there's other ones here or there. Green Mage, Chemist got like one common only. Basically that's it. Like I said, I'm expecting Blitzer for a ranged and a mage I have no idea. Spellblade would be pretty cool for technically adding a new melee, but it being a mage. But I'm not sure we're getting there. Could be anything. But we'll be finding out soon enough with the FanFest circuit. That covers it then. Do we have any other thoughts on the jobs? On things to come? Maybe people now realizing what Spellblade actually is and not assuming it's Red Mage? Let's talk! I'll probably be doing some restreams of FanFest if they're allowed and giving my thoughts live. We'll see. I'm looking forward to what we're gonna see. I want to see this game keep going with tons of cool stuff. I want it to be good and I want to play cool new jobs. So take care and may the power of Ananid Hogs lay waste to your enemies. And the usual extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon, with an extra extra special thanks going out to... Altrios, Amen al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Rice, Bergie, Karsten Wayware, Ethan W, Frazier97, Jeremy Abbott, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Shana, Shimmering Blaze, T-Rogue, Timmy, and zero two. If you like my work, please subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. Please support me in whatever little way you can. All of it is greatly appreciated. See you next time for something completely different.